Let's see what is uh, writing composition. First of all, what is composition? Which is taken from Latin, which means to put together. Otherwise, it's a way a writer assembles words and sentences to create a current and meaningful work. Composition can also mean the activity of writing, the nature of the subject of a piece of writing, the piece of writing itself. Composition might use clean and simple prose, flowery, descriptive passages or analytical nomenclature. What are types of composition writing? There are four classical types of composition. Description, narration, exposition and argumentation. They would almost never stand alone in a piece of writing, but rather are best consider modes of writing, pieces of writing styles that can be combined and used to create a whole. That is to say, they can inform a piece of writing and they all get starting points for understanding how to put a piece of writing together. For example, for, for each following composition types are based on the American poet Gratitude Stain's famous quote from Scare Emily. Uh, first, a description. A description or descriptive writing is a statement or account that describes something or someone. Listing characteristic features and significant details to provide a reader with a portrayal in words. Descriptions are set in the concrete in reality or solidity of an object as a representation of a person, place or thing in time. They provide the look and feel of objects, a simultaneous all with as many details as you like. Description of a rose might include the color of the color of the petals, the aroma of its perfume, where it exists in your garden, whether it is in a plain terracotta pot or a hot house in the city. A description. Uh, the second one, narration. A narration or narrative writing is a personal account or story that the writer tells is our reader. It can be an account of series of facts or events given in order and establish connections between the steps. It cannot, it can even be dramatic in which case you can present each individual scene with actions and dialogue. The chronology could be in strict order or you could include flashbacks. A narration about a rose might describe how you first came across it how it came to be in your garden or why you went to the greenhouse that day. Third one, exposition. Exposition or expository writing is the act of expounding or explaining a person, place, thing or event. Your purpose is not to just describe something but it give it a reality, an interpretation, your ideas on what that thing means in some respects you are laying out a proposition to explain a general notion or abstract idea of your subject an exposition on a rose might include its taxonomy what its scientific and common names are who developed it what the impact was when it was announced to the public and how it was distributed and the last one, argumentation. This is also called as argumentative writing. It is, it is basically an exercise in comparing and contrasting. It is the methodological presentation of both sides of an argument using logical or formal reasoning. The end is formulated to pursue why, why thing A is better than thing B. What you mean by better makes up the content of your arguments. Argumentation applied to a rose might be why one particular rose is better than another, why you prepare roses over daisies or vice versa. Thank you for watching my channel. Please subscribe for more videos.